Good morning, middle school. I am James. And I'm Kate. Now please stand as I lead you in the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now for the prayer. Please bow your heads and pray with me. Dear God, as we pray for Easter and pray today, let us focus on these words from John's Gospel, chapter 19, and let us give thanks for the suffering you endured for us. Then Pilate took Jesus and had him flogged. The soldiers twisted together a crown of thorns and put it on his head. They clothed, they clothed him in a purple robe and went up to him, saying again and again, Hail, King of the Jews! And they slapped him in, in the face. Help us to always remember how great your strength was when face these difficult times. In your name we pray, amen. Now, now over to the anchors. Here are your middle school homeroom announcements for Thursday, April 13, 2017. Welcome to Thursday Middle School. I am Margaret, and this is Elizabeth. Today we will have a special half-day schedule. Check with your teachers teachers for the specific class times. We will begin with period four when you are dismissed from homeroom at 8.10. Remember to reach out to Sunny Jones to sign up for the S Susan G. Komen race for the cure. She really wants to see a big group of Wesleyan Middle School students in the race on May 13th. This is a fun way to support research for breast cancer and show all those people who are fighting this disease that you care. The deadline for turning in Literary Guild packets has been extended until Tuesday, April 18th, when we return from Easter break. All ten concise summaries and reactions must be collected in the Literary Guild folder and turned in to Miss Duke no later than 3.30 on the 18th. Make sure that you and a parent have signed the honor statement for each book. Now for the birthdays. Today we have one birthday for 6th grader Elsa Moore. And tomorrow, 7th grader Jay Aurora. And over the weekend on Monday, there will be three birthdays. Two 8th graders, Eric Berry. And Ashley Binney. And 5th grader, Jackson Sellenberger. We also want to recognize three August 14th birthdays for 8th graders Grace Carroll. Luke Carroll. And Lily Tapp. We hope you have a great day and enjoy your birthday shout out. Now to the Dino question. question. Here's a, your do you know question. Who is the first president to be impeached? Was it A. Andrew Johnson? B. Bill Clinton? C. Calvin Coolidge? D. Or D. Richard Nixon? If you guessed A. Andrew Johnson, you are correct. On February 24th, 1868, Something extraordinary happened in the U.S. Congress. For the first time in history, the United States House of Representatives impeached a sitting president, Democrat Andrew Johnson. We do not have any lunch today, but we have a special interview for you to watch about some great presents that sixth graders are making for the artist market. Hi, I'm Sarah. And I'm Carson. We want to welcome Hannah and Riley so they can tell us about what they will be selling at the Artist Market. Thank you for coming to the WWTV Artist Market Circle. Thank you so much for having us. So, tell us what you'll be selling at the Artist Market. We will be selling pictures with quotes. We have multiple sizes and photos. Some of them are, one of them is a picture frame with a tire swing and a quote from Peter Pan. And another one is a, is a butterfly. Could you tell us about how you started making these frames and how long have you been doing it for? We started making them because we both love to take pictures and we love nature. And then we decided to attach pictures with quotes. That's a really good idea and I'm sure it must have taken a lot of time to match up the pictures and quotes. Have you ever sold them at a market before or has anybody in your family ever done something like this before? No, but we are looking forward to our first experience at the Westland Artist Market. Is there anything else that we should know about your items? Yes, we really had a lot of fun making them, and we are still working hard to add to our collection before April 27th. Thank you, Hannah and Riley, for giving us a sneak peek of, of your very special frames. We will be sure to find you at the artist market.